Hello, I'm Randall Whiteman. Today I will be running through a demonstration of the Epicor ERP version 10 interface navigation using the standard Epicor demo instance. I'll run through the home screen structure including favorites tiles, the menu structure, briefly outline structure of a typical program, and briefly outline three types of inquiries offered in the standard Epicor ERP application. Okay, let's get started. So I've logged into Epicor ERP and it brings us directly into the home screen, which is what we are seeing now. The first thing I'll show is in the top right hand corner, the company indicator, showing us that we are logged into the company Epic06 called Epicor Education and the site called Main. If we need to change the company or site, if we have security access, click on the link in the left hand side, choose the company, in the right hand side, choose the site. In this case, we'll stay with Epicor Education and the main site, then save and close, and you'll be logged into the chosen company and site. Okay, in the bottom right hand corner, we can also see the user that we are currently logged onto called Manager. All right, now the next part is the squares on the screen are called tiles, and on the left hand side we have the recent forms tile where we can see the applications that the currently logged on user has recently accessed and we can click, can click on the application name to go directly to that application as a shortcut. We also have a series of favorite tiles which can be configured per user if you have security access and we also have the standard uh, the standard Epicor menu tile settings and also the standard Epicor help. That's the menu, the settings, and also the help. You can drag the fa favorites tiles and the interface tiles around the screen. In this case I'll just leave them as they are. Above the company indicator are the navigator buttons. So if you have screens open currently, like we have in the background the three screens we just went into, the menu, settings and help, use the navigator navigation buttons to move between those, and the home screen button to move back to home. We also have the open forms bar, so I pull down the, the drop down and we can see the open screens. We can click on the tile to move to that screen or click the X to close that screen. Click back on the home screen to close the open forms bar. Okay, we also have the search button and the menu search is a really good way of searching for an application that's more in a, in a project sense when you don't have a formal process to follow. If we're looking for a customer application we just type any part of the application name and it will show for instance customer group, customer and it shows us the menu path on the standard menu how to get to that application. Okay, and we also have a, a web search. I won't go into that standard Google search. Now back on the home screen, if we open some of the favorites and we'll see that the favorites cause, so when we have multiple open favorites, causes the, uh, the favorites to move beyond the size of the screen, we can use the zoom button to see the full screen again. Okay, and the bottom of the screen has the applications bar where we have various actions based on our security access. We can change the user currently logged on and various other actions. And on the right hand side we can add tiles to the home screen. Okay, now let's go and have a look at 
some of the favourites. So the favourites, I recommend setting the favourites to match the business process. So if you have a, a value stream process structure set up in your business, set up the tiles based on the value stream and have the each of the favourites tiles set up for the applications which are used as in, included in those processes. Let's have a look at the standard Epicor menu. So we open up, open up the menu and we see the tree view to the menu on the left hand side and then the application screen on the right hand side. We can choose the zoom view and the tree view to move between more of a, a tablet style button um, menu navigation. With this one we can see the menu actually uh, extends over the left hand side and out of view. I prefer to stay with the tree view. And on the, the application level you can also move between a tiles view and also a list view. Now the structure of the menu itself, so under the company we then have each site and we are logged under, under main site currently. So the first level of the, of the menu is called the module category. In this case we have sales management, we also have service management, production management and so on. The second level down is the module, software module. So we have customer relationship management, case management, quote management, etc. And the third level down is the function. So we have setup and general operations and in some cases we also have the reports function. And then in the right hand side once we get down to the function level we have applications showing on the right hand side. When we open a particular application down the bottom we're going to see what's called the status slider pop up briefly indicating that the application is opening. Okay. So that's the basic function of the standard Epicor menu. I would recommend limiting the need to go to the menu by using appropriate favourites. And when you do need to go to the menu, using the search function to quickly search for application names rather than having to scroll up and down the menu. Okay, we'll go into have a quick look at a program. So let me use the customer program. We'll just go through the brief structure of a program. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video showing the program structure in detail. In, in uh, overview, there's the program menu toolbar along the top, the standard toolbar below that, we have a search toolbar, and then we have the context menu. So when we right click on a particular data, master data item, we have a context menu. We have a tree view on the, on the left hand side. There are grids. So we have grids and we also have detail. So we'll go through those in, in detail in a separate video. And the other one I'll go through as well is uh, specific the options of the, the programs. And lastly in this brief overview I'll quickly show the three levels of inquiry applications. So under executive analysis menu we have trackers uh, which are normal inquiries. We have status dashboards which are a little more analytical and as a basic uh, BI, we have the shop vision. 
and I'll also go through that, through that in a separate video. This was a Whiteman Online presentation. For more great content, subscribe to the Whiteman Online YouTube channel and visit the website. I look forward to seeing you soon at Whiteman Online.